So I am currently on the world's newest cruise ship, Utopia of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a suite crawl from the Royal Loft Suite, Ultimate Family Suite, all the way down to the brand new Solarium Suite available only here on board Utopia of the Seas. By the way, of course, do keep in mind that if you happen to see a suite you like and you want to book it for your ultimate vacation, you can book it with myself as well as my travel agent partners over at Lux Rally, the link of which will be in the description box below as well as pinned in the comments. First up, we have the Royal Loft Suite. A couple things to keep in mind as we walk in here. One, this is the biggest room on the entire ship. It's also the most popular, as you can see, with the suite crawl going on. We are going to make our way around, but do keep in mind that this suite does sleep six comfortably. We're gonna go ahead and make our way to the first room. We'll check out the bathroom here in a minute, but do not get this confused with the master bedroom, even though you could, given the size. As you can see, this room is very spacious. You have the TV that comes down here from the ceiling, very large bed. Bed. two seating areas over here over here you have another seat vanity mirror and as you could imagine plenty plenty of closet space getting into the bathroom you do have a dual sink mirrors the porcelain throne and of course a reasonably large shower not bad not bad at all let's go ahead and check out the balcony as you can see they have a table here that seats six sink TV. On this side here, you have a seating area and, of course, a personal hot tub. Before we go upstairs, I gotta show you something. Do you see that door outside over on the balcony? Well, there's another door in here, which I'll show you in a second, that connects this room to the Crown Loft Suite next door. Just to show you guys quickly, the other side is locked. However, we will check out the Crown Suite in this video, but still, pretty cool option for people that decide to share suites. Last thing before we go upstairs, you do have a sink, coffee maker, water, of course, cabinets with everything you need to eat and drink. Here we go. Let's go check out upstairs. I heard it looks absolutely amazing up here. Before I show you guys around, I know what you're thinking. How are you going to have any kind of privacy if you have six people in this room here? Somebody down there, somebody in the other room, and you have this overlook here. Well, all of this is electronic, so it can close up for the entire circumference of this room, giving you a little bit of privacy. Of course, the sound would probably be an issue for six people staying in here, but... Hey, we're on a cruise. Anyway, I want to show you guys this table here, table here, vanity mirror here. Plenty. I'm not even going to open all of these, but as you can imagine, I guess in place of maybe a walk-in closet, you have all of this closet space. This is insane. You could literally fit another person in each of these closets. <laughs> you have to see this bathroom. Look at this. Large and in charge. Another double sink, but it is definitely a nicer setup with more shelf space. You have this, I guess it's supposed to be a bathtub, hot tub type deal going on. Rainfall shower with a lot of features. And the toilet is next to the shower and bathtub area. And you can close the door as well for a little bit more privacy. Now I know you're probably a little curious as far as the price for the largest suite on board this brand new ship Utopia of the Seas. Now I won't be able to get the price of every suite and cabin that we visit. However, I can tell you that that room, the Royal Law Suite, will set you back about ten to fifteen thousand dollars per cruise. Also do keep in mind this ship will be completing three and four night sailings out of Port Canaveral over to the Caribbean. Next up we have the suite next to the Royal Law Suite, the Crown Law Suite. Let's head in we're in suite 18208. This Crown Loft Suite is a little bit smaller than the Royal Loft Suite. It does hold four people. However, right now during this tour, it is pretty packed. So I'm going to make this one a little bit more brisk than the Royal Loft Suite. I will show you upstairs here in a second. But down here, you essentially have the living room. There is a couch. There's a TV. I'll show you guys the balcony real quick here. Pretty reasonable size. You do have two seats here overlooking what will eventually be the beautiful seven seas. We'll go ahead and make our way upstairs. You got your bed, seating over here, seating over here with vanity mirror, plenty of closet space, well, at least a relatively decent amount of it. And finally, I'll show you the bathroom. You have a single sink here, the old porcelain throne, and a bathtub with a shower head. Next up, we're gonna check out the owner's suite. And here we are. Once again, I'm going to make this one pretty brisk. As you can see with these suites areas, a lot of people are very interested. They're popular areas during this sweet crawl, so we'll make this pretty quick. Show you the restroom over here. Your porcelain throne. Ooh, a bidet. First one I've seen in one of these suites, unless I missed it. You have your shower here, your bathtub here, and a 
double sink. We have the living room area. Plenty of seating in here as well. Show you guys the owner's suite balcony. You have an area here to lounge, seating here, a table here that also seats four. And as you can see, overall, this balcony is very large and charged and spacious. Here's the bedroom, a large bed here, TV set up right here, right in front of the bed. Next to the bedroom, you have somewhat of a closet area. You do have seating here, vanity mirror here. And of course, this is going to be where all of your closet space is. Next up, we have the ultimate family suite. This is the ultimate family suite. It does hold 10 people. This area isn't packed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the master bedroom. It does connect to the kids' rooms over there, which I'll show you in a second here, but you have a large bed here, closet space over here. You have more closet space over here and the master bathroom, dual sink porcelain throne, the toilet, and for the shower, it does come complete with the rainfall shower, as well as two detachable shower heads on each side. Let's go ahead and make our way downstairs. By the way, I don't know if you can hear it, but these are piano stairs. Super busy in here, so I'll just give you a quick scan of the living room area. You have a separate bedroom here. But I would say this is more so for any additional adults that might be staying here in the Ultimate Family Suite. In here you do have a movie theater. As you can see, there is plenty of seating. They've made it very kid-friendly in here as well with a very large TV screen. Let's go ahead and make our way upstairs to the kids' room. As you can see, there is also a safety door to make sure the kids don't fall down the stairs. As you can see over here, we have two sets of bunk beds. This bed here does also turn into a couch. You have four separate TVs as well. And in here you have the kids bathroom. You have dual sink over here. The toilet is over here on the opposite side. Before we make our way out of here, we do have to try the slide. I'm a little worried though. They said this slide has been greased up or something because people have been going pretty fast down this thing. Here we go. Woo Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if they put cooking oil, grease, or butter on this thing, but man, that's slick. All right, we have to go down one deck to deck 17 to check out the Grand Suite. We're gonna do a brisk sweep of the Grand Suite. Keep in mind that this does sleep for people. You do have the drop-down TV here with the large bed. You have the bathroom complete with a dual sink. Show you the balcony. You have two lounging areas, a footrest or a table, depending on how you use it, and a table that seats four people. Next up, we have the Solarium Suite. Oh, excuse me, guys. <laughs> this suite does hold four people. It is the first of its kind, technically. They tried to do something similar on Oasis of the Seas. Didn't exactly work out. However, you are right above the bridge or the navigation area on board. Here is the master bedroom. You can see very nice, very luxurious, and the views are absolutely breathtaking. I am told this is the exact same view that the captain gets when he's navigating the ship. I would show you the closet space here, but it's all connected. So basically, as you can see, there's another sliding door. There's three doors here. And if you open the closet door, you have to essentially close the door to the bathroom. But I'll show you the bathroom. You have seating, vanity mirror as we make our way into the Solarium Suite bathroom. Look at this. Definitely the nicest bathroom I have seen here on board Utopia of the Seas. I was told today that the rooms will still be available tomorrow so I will make a separate dedicated video showcasing all of the state rooms that are not sweet. Finally last but not least we have the Aqua Theater Suite here on deck eight. Here it does hold eight people. You have bunk beds here on the side. We're gonna go ahead and make our way around the rest of the room. Here we have one of the rooms. Let's see if we can get in. Oh. There we go. And since this is the Aqua Theater Suite, this balcony does go all the way around to the theater. Here is the bathroom. Here we have the living room. As you can see, very, very spacious. Closet space over here, TV over here. Go ahead and make our way outside. I'll show you the rest of the wraparound balcony leading over to the theater. So that is where the other end of the balcony was where we were at earlier. Table seating, lounge chairs, and of course, you are overlooking the Utopia Aqua Theater. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do apologize if it seemed a little rushed. I have to do another video showcasing my first day on board Utopia of the Seas right after this one. But of course, if you want to book any of these suites, check out our travel agent sponsors, Lux Rally Travel, link of which will be in the description box below, as well as pinned in the comments. Of course, I have more videos coming up with this brand new cruise ship, so make sure you guys stick around. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.